Hello there, my name is TJ Riddle. I am here this afternoon to show you how to make a quick, easy, festive type cheese ball. It's a pineapple cheese ball, and I have my ingredients ready to show you already pre-measured, so to save time for this video. Thank you for joining us. So the first ingredient would be your cream cheese, and it doesn't matter what brand because you're going to put all these other ingredients in it, so it doesn't matter if it's the best, you know, top of the line or whatever. The next thing that would go in would be your crushed pineapple. Crushed pineapple uh, would be the easiest to do, but I'm gonna give you a little helpful hint here. Take your smallest colander with the tiniest holes because I have never seen anything hold as much fluid as crushed pineapple does. So you measure in what you need, which should just be eight ounces. This is a bigger can, but you put in your eight ounces. And then I even had to, at one point, take a fork and mash down on it to get the excess moisture out of it. Okay, so here's my pineapple already pre-fixed. It calls for uh, chopped onion. I don't get along well with chopping onions, and so I am doing uh, minced onion, which is dried. It calls for seasoned salt for enhancing the flavor, and that would just be seasoned to taste. And I have chosen this afternoon to use uh, chopped bell peppers, and you can use any variety of things. So first of all, let's just go ahead and get this cream cheese out of here and into our bowl. I hope everyone's having a great day. Christmas coming up, Thanksgiving. This could be fixed and put into a container and set into the refrigerator so you could have it. We want to get this stirred up very well. This was room temperature. It does seem a little stiff, but that will work out and it's not that hard to, to stir. But you really want to cream it so you don't have chunks and lumps. That should about do it. I think it was a, a fourth a cup of green peppers, fourth a cup of green onions is what they called for. Only eight ounces of crushed pineapple, extremely well drained two teaspoons of seasoning salt, and two cups of chopped nuts. You know, I got to thinking that you could use any kind of nuts. I mean, you could use walnuts or whatever your favorite is, maybe even coat it in almonds or something, but I am doing the pecans. So now I will add my pineapple. As I said, it's already pre-measured. Pineapple is very zingy, kind of gives it a, a fun flavor, as I would call it. You think, oh, that's just a cheese ball, plain old cheese, and then you're, oh, wow, what's in this? Have it in your freezer, get it out when you have company or family, whatever, and be a nice little surprise. Make sure it's sturdy. Well, okay, I'm just gonna add a few onion chips to this. One thing about onion chips, a lot of people don't like to use them because they feel like that they have too strong of a flavor. But you do understand if you're gonna set this in the refrigerate, refrigerator to chill, then those flavors are gonna mix and that's gonna, you won't tell it's a, you know, a flake or anything. It'll come up, you know, taste them like an onion, a real onion. Okay, we'll go ahead and add our chopped bell peppers. Another great thing I thought of while I was working on this recipe was that I think uh, green chili, chopped green chilies would be really good in it. All kinds of things, uh, maybe chopped celery. So you have lots of choices, just pick your favorite. And if you don't want anything like that added, you don't have to. I mean, just the pineapple would be pretty good like it is. Okay, then we'll do a couple of pinches of seasoned salt. Seasoned salt always enhances the flavor of things, brings out the little ingredients that you don't pay any attention to. And you're like, gee, what's that? Because garlic salt would be, I think, too um, abrupt. Seasoned salt would just keep it a little more on the sweet side, help with the sweetening. Okay, as I said, I had two different bowls of chopped pecans. I'm gonna use some of these larger ones that I chopped up to go inside. So you not only do you have the crunchy bell peppers, but you also have the crunchy pecans. So you see, this is just super simple. You hear somebody's coming over, or they're coming tomorrow or something. Get this done, get it in the refrigerator. It needs to chill at least four hours. Overnight's even better. And as you can see, the cream cheese is getting softer and softer as I work it. Okay, I think we are ready to Put this onto our wax paper. I'm going to put out a few nuts. Here are the smaller ones that I've chopped so I can roll them, roll it in them. You don't think this is ever going to firm up, but it will, I promise you. It might be easier to add your pecans, after, put it in the refrigerator first, just the cheese ball in a some kind of Tupperware type container, plastic container with a lid, and let it get a little more firm and then roll it with your pecans before trying to actually shape it. So this is probably not gonna be really very pretty. I didn't say I was a professional chef. I said I was sharing a favorite recipe, isn't that right? So I get grace, don't I? Okay, so I put this on wax paper 
so it doesn't slide around and it's easy to handle. I look like a cheese ball now. Put all that on there. And then we are going to take this and move this saran wrap over here. Dump this onto here, making a little mess. Kind of finish shaping it. This will be the bottom whenever you take it out so there's not as many nuts on the bottom. Covering it, sealing it up, and there you have it. Go ahead and finish shaping it a little bit to go in the refrigerator to get its, so its shape. And then whenever it comes out, you can finish shaping it. So I just think this is a wonderful thing to have. You can, like I say, have it in your freezer. Somebody pops in unexpectedly. You are ready for them. So why don't you come on over and we will have a pineapple cheese ball. So I have added pretzels, wheat thins, and vegetable crackers. You can do all sorts of things. There's all different kinds of crackers out there on the market. Just put your favorite. You could also add carrot sticks, celery sticks, uh, bell pepper sticks, any kind of vegetable and, and make it kind of a veggie tray. The possibilities are never ending. Whatever, I think it'd be real tasty. Let's see what it looks, tastes. Pretty good, even if I do say so myself. Thank you.